All right, uh, MJF and Tony Khan. Okay, so Fightful had a story, and the story's essentially accurate um, in the sense of um, he did the interview with Ariel Hawani, which which uh, I wrote about a lot in the Observer, and uh, you know it's you know you can listen to it and everything like that, which uh, you know just praising WWE, and you know MJF is always in character, um, but um, you know I mean he was. You know, like I said, praising WWE and um, what happened was I did not know this, but um, Tony Khan talked to him and it was not about the interview as much as doing the interview without um, clearing it with the office because you're supposed to um, and MJF, had, you know, MJF did, you know, I guess admit that yeah you know he didn't do it you know you're supposed to tell um mandy o'donnell and like you know the company didn't know he was doing it until he did it and um it's not like they would have banned him from doing it with ariel hawani they'd have been fine with it and it's not like as far as the content of the interview i mean there was not really an issue with that because he's done under other interviews like that and and you know yeah i mean wwe probably would like shoot a guy if they did an interview like MJF did, but they're not WWE, um, you know, if they go in there and just talk about how great the other company is and they can't wait for their, he didn't say he can't wait for the contract to, to run out, but you know, he did say his contract runs out January 1st, 2024. So he gave a date and said that he is not going to sign, um, you know, a new deal with AEW until his contract runs out, unless they offer him an incredible amount of money. And, you know, he should say that. You know, I would always say, you know, you you want to, especially in 2024. You know, I mean, it's like right now he, you know, they they, you know, they could offer him they could offer him much much more than he's making right now in an extension. And you know, that you know, let's say hey, I want to sign you to a 5-year deal at, you know, I'm throwing out a, a number, I don't know, a couple million, right? And and it sounds great, but you don't know with WWE if they get like another increase. And, uh, you know, and there's no guarantee because I, I know like everyone figures both groups are going to get an increase. And it certainly appears to me. I mean, most companies that have, you know, made new deals have gotten like the hockey got a huge increase with really low numbers. Uh, but pro wrestling is not hockey. Um, you know, I mean, for the, obviously because they got moved off of TNT for hockey that does well under half of what they do in 18 to 49, you know, and, and total viewers as well. And, um, so the whole deal there is, is, um, you know, wait until you see the lay of the, you know, I mean, he, he should, he shouldn't even worry about whatever he's under contract for you know all of 2022 and all of 2023 and you know in about a year from now maybe 15 months probably should sit down and kind of look at this and by then um you probably are going to know the money value of the new tnt well i you know i can't say read with tnt but whatever new television deal aw gets or if they get a new streaming deal or whatever you know, business stuff they do, you're going to have a lot better idea of where AEW stands. And AEW, if they get a substantial increase, which they should, but that doesn't mean they will because it's wrestling, which is, you got to remember that this is wrestling and wrestling still has a stigma, even though, you know, WWE got that big, big increase, but it was a unique situation because it was multiple bidders, you know, like, uh, you know, I mean, the deal was is, is Fox wanted Raw, not SmackDown. USA had the right to match any offer. And so they matched the offer that Fox bid for Raw. Um, and then Fox at that point wanted SmackDown. And at that point, USA had spent so much money on Raw, it was just kind of like, we're not going to match it for SmackDown. But that's how the numbers went way up. Um, AEW obviously is doing way, AEW got this current deal based on the idea that they were able to do a consistent 0 0.30. And now this, now they're doing about 0 0.40. Um, they're not that far behind, you know, Raw, you know, Raw's doing, 
you know, point five oh is a, considered a good night for Raw now. So they're doing a lot of point four eights. Um, you know, uh, ramp, uh, um, Dynamite's doing point four oh's, not that far off, and you know they're the ones gaining and blah blah blah, right? They might pass them, maybe they won't. I don't know. Um, you know, um, if they if Raw doesn't can, if if Raw stops their decline, they won't pass them. If Raw declines at the same rate they've been declining, um, Raw will actually just decline under them within a year if they don't, you know, just pick things up a little bit. So, um, but whatever, you know, that doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean anything necessarily because you got to have a bunch of companies interested and contrary to belief. I mean, if you look at like Billy Corgan, who's been desperate for television and not gotten it. Um, you know, MLW's out there and they have television, but it's B in, it's not that strong. Um, the, um, you know, uh, impact, you know, like we said, impact and, you know, impact had to buy a TV station to get television in this country. Um, new Japan is on basically because impact, you know, they're on impacts night and it's impact paved the way because they would work with them. Um, so they got TV, but it's, you know, it's it's not like there's all these stations, even though wrestling, you know, the the wrestling numbers are great compared to everything else on cable. Um, you know, you know, obviously it's not football, it's not basketball, but it's beaten almost everything else. There's so I mean, it's 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 doing great, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get a big increase. But um, yeah, so for him, um, you know, that's the idea is probably just wait till. If I'm him, you wait till the middle of 2023 and kind of see what's going on. And, and yeah, don't sign an extension now unless, you know, if someone, if, if AW offers him like crazy money, you know, yeah. But uh, the odds are there's probably going to be more money uh, in 2023 than there is now. And he will probably still be hot, still going to be young. So that's his deal, you know, whatever he's going to wind up doing. But, uh, yeah, I mean there was there was a situation. It has been settled, um, you know. And uh, yeah, if you're you know, you're supposed to tell the office when you're doing interviews. They're not supposed to find out when the interview's on. That's just kind of the rule there. So that's what happened. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.